All right, so here's our video updating everyone with the latest news pertaining to the very sketchy jailbreak bounty that's currently going on on our jailbreak subreddit. Now, really, what still has our concerns is there is still a live Bitcoin-associated donation link that, as far as we can tell, is not associated with the Sick Kids Foundation in any way. It's very, very suspicious that someone is asking to donate via Bitcoin, especially when they had an actual donation donation page set up. Now, we'll get into that in just a second. Basically, what we found out is actually going to the Sick Kids Foundation website. Again, this one has the Sick Kids Foundation URL. Well, apparently, you can actually create your own fundraiser. Now, the big warning flag we saw here is pretty much anyone and everyone can set up a fundraiser with this site. You really don't need to enter too much information, and you can have your fundraiser page be live. And I'm guessing this is what the OP did to prove legitimacy in some way to make it look like an actual fundraiser page was set up. Well, if we search for currently live donations, this is where we get the Sick Kids donation URL at the top, which again, we thought was very odd when you can't actually go to sickkidsdonations.com. That website domain at itself just comes up with an error message. So that was very strange. But moving on, if we actually go to the desktop website, you can search for a donation or a fundraiser, excuse me, by the name that it contains. And so the one that we're referring to had the name jailbreak in it and as you guys can see it says no recent records found now it used to actually appear right here which did in my opinion prove some legitimacy to this fundraiser although it still like i've been saying throughout this video is very suspicious that a bitcoin donation link is associated with his fundraiser at all especially if he went through the trouble of setting up a real donation page why would you have a bitcoin link at all now some theories regarding that are that it's his actual Bitcoin account and that he was going to use this money to later donate himself to the Sick Kids Foundation. But in any case, there's really no way to legitimately prove that he follows through with his promises of donating that money. One thing we absolutely have confirmed is that there is no Bitcoin account or link associated with the Sick Kids Foundation website at all. And as of recording this video, now you can no longer search for the jailbreak bounty on their website, which again is another huge red flag to me because I don't see any reason why the original poster would take his only proof of legitimacy down. This was like the slight glimmer of hope that this thing might actually be real. So now that this fundraiser is no longer even searchable, there is absolutely no proof that this fundraiser is or was ever legitimate. And sorry if there was a bit of confusion we legitimately did call the Sick Kids Foundation to ask them to verify this post, and they said they could not verify it, which is the biggest reason why we started investigating on this, and really, I just wanted to do this follow-up video letting everyone know that the fundraiser page has been taken down. Furthermore, the original post on Reddit has been updated. The original poster has removed his entire fundraiser because, in my opinion, it was never legitimate from the start. If it was legitimate, why wouldn't he just say so and put an end to all of the rumors going around there? Him backing out of this fundraiser is the final proof I needed to confirm that this jailbreak bounty was entirely fake and entirely false. And really, it never seemed real from the beginning. Who in their right mind would offer 163 thousand dollars of their own personal money for a jailbreak that's going to be released here within the next couple of weeks. It made absolutely no sense. There was ridiculous offers being made, ridiculous amounts of money being thrown left and right, and a very sketchy Bitcoin donation link for everyone to donate their money directly to the OP. Anyway, this jailbreak bounty has now been closed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates. Anyway, what a day, guys. Thank you so much for watching and being awesome fans. Hopefully, I'll have some good jailbreak news for you tomorrow. But until then, this is Tony signing out.